Hello everyone, welcome to a new short series where we'll be going over the basics of using and setting up Game Creator. In this first video we're going to cover the core Game Creator itself. Before we start I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. We'll start off with creating a new project and I'll be creating a new project using um, Unity 2020 LTS which is the latest LTS version of Unity. I'm going to call this project Game Creator Basics and I'm going to hit Create. Once we have our new project, I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger so we have a bit more space to see what we're doing. There we go. And I'm going to go to Window, Package Manager, and by default it will show all of the packages that are in your project. Now Game Creator is not in our project yet, so we need to go to My Assets, and this will load all of the assets you bought um, in the Asset Store. And I bought way too many, so it will show a lot of assets here, so I'm going to be looking for Game Creator itself. And this will be showing uh, tons of different modules, not all of them, um, which can be a bit confusing, um, but that are related to Game Creator, including my own Easy Template Kit and First Person Game Creator as well. We're going to select Game Creator, and if you have the latest version, you will just see Import, otherwise it will, you will see Update or Install. I'm going to select Import, select Import again, And then we have install game creator. We'll install game creator. And it will say it's been updated to the latest version before importing the rest. And then once done, we will have game creator in our project. In order to use Game Creator, we can just straight away go ahead in our own scene, or we can check the Game Creator tab in our panel. So we have check for updates, reinstall tools, which shows uh, documentation, the toolbar, which um, basically allows you to quickly use Game Creator um, actions, triggers, and conditions, and add them to your scene. And we have our module manager and preferences. So in preferences we have all of the basics um, which is important if you are going to be using mobile as well which uh, allows you to, to use the touch stick. We have audio manager management so our mixers. We have uh, our save load systems by default this is going to be on. Um, localization which just allows for multiple languages and text which some of the modules use as well our variables, which is definitely going to be the most important, and feedback. I'm going to close this and we're going to go to module manager. And the first thing we're going to do in our module manager is click enable on the game creator examples. We'll hit import. There we go. Now when we go to plugins, we will have Game Creator, and I'm going to change the view here. So we have Game Creator, Game Creator Data, and Update. When I go to Game Creator, um, you know, we will have uh, all of this information. We will have the examples as well. So when we open up the first example and hit play, it will basically guide us through everything we can do with Game Creator and has the controller as well. So we have example 1, and 2, and 3, and etc, etc. So I would definitely recommend checking out these examples as they will explain a lot of the basic things. Now, If you want to use Game Creator in your own scene, we just simply open up the scene. We can use the toolbar to add our components, or we can right-click and add them from this drop-down menu. Now personally I prefer this as there are already way too many toolbars so I'm going to close it and I'm going to add a component and we have trigger, we have our conditions and we have our actions 
and obviously one of the most amazing things about Game Creator itself is that by default we will also have our character controllers. I'm going to create a quick little material here which is definitely going to be in the wrong place but it's this is blinding me a bit. There we go. Let's turn off those values. And then when we right click we can add our character which is a player. We will add our camera motor and a camera motor is what controls your uh, camera so it's like the name says it's literally a motor for your camera I'm going to hit play and we're all set up for all of the basics and we can start using game creator and that's how simple it is in a couple of quick steps to set up game creator for the first time thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video